I want to present you my new DVD. If I'm not mistaken, it's number 18 in my collection. And it's all previous DVD. It's about opening. Uh, it's about repertoire. In this case, we talk about white for a very long time. Uh, white is facing a, a serious problem. Uh, what to do against Karokan? I think this is uh, together with the problem what to do against Berlin. It's one of the biggest issues for white for E4 players with white. I, will, I was trying to give here an answer, not a refutation, of course, refutation is never possible. If you will put two computers playing, maybe they will make a draw finally. But uh, I want to give you a picture of a complex strategical concept for white, approach for white, how to treat um, this uh, opening. And uh, from strategical point of view, it's about, we talk about uh, advanced variation in uh, Karokan, the third move E5. The typical structures which we have here, it will make easier us to play, first of all, because there are not so many ideas. I counted about 20 typical strategical ideas for white, so it's quite easy to remember, especially thanks to this DVD. Uh, I, they are verbalized. I know that m uh, many of the listeners, of the readers, of the viewers of these DVDs, they tell me that sometimes when they play a game, they simply like see me during the game, they imagine me or see me talking uh, about certain positions, so they are vi visually they remember better than even if they would simply get this information from uh, from book or from computer. So um, I was trying to verbalize all these ideas during this DVD. Um, practically, uh, I, it was not easy job to make a structure uh, because uh, there are so many games played, so many possibilities for white. Of course, some possibilities for white I skipped, but in some lines I was giving two, even three alternatives for white to play because just to change from time to time. Because nowadays, of course, if you play the same line, it's uh, very easy. Uh, for uh, for your opponent to prepare against you, he will switch on strong engine, and you will play not against your opponent, you will play against your uh, his engine. So it's good uh, to switch, to jump from time to time, to change here and there, and which will make uh, the game of chess still unpredictable, and uh, uh, your opponent will be not so well prepared. That's why there are about two, three alternatives and the key critical lines, which I consider it's important to know different type of positions. Especially uh, there are two important differences uh, in white setup. It's when white is uh, trying to hold the center with c3 against c5 and uh, later just to play like in French uh, in advanced variation. Or when white is taking the challenge, he allows black either to take one d4 or he's playing him himself c4 uh, and uh, attacking the center, making this uh, the main idea of white is to try to use the uh, advantage in development. I, I would point out from strategical points, uh, the main, main problem of black, it's very funny, they solved the problem of bishop c8 by playing bishop f5. This is true, but they created another problem. They created a problem of bishop f8, and this is uh, even maybe, uh, sometimes it's uh, more, more difficult. First of all, the, the problem uh, for black is they don't really realize that they have this problem. If you don't talk about this, they might think that uh, this bishop is good, but actually, together with knight on e7, they really cannot be developed. So this is an eternal problem for black. Where to put this knight? To e7, to c8, to f5, to c6, to g6. In all cases, I try to give uh, a dynamic way of why to use this uh, um, advantage in development and to be quite fast. What I like about white setups, uh, first of all, this uh, knight d2, knight b3 idea with a4, a5, or with a4, a5 immediately, it's very natural, very logical. And uh, thanks to the new researches, uh, which uh, we saw that even giving this d5 square for black in uh, basic positions, it's still possible for white to play because it's still passive, it's still, still unclear. Even recently I had a discussion with a strong Karokan player with black, and he was not very optimistic about this type of positions. So this is possible to play. There are, of course, some first lines like c5 uh, and uh, queen b6 or c5, cd4 for black. And uh, there, uh, thanks to computer analysis, thanks to some uh, uh, experience, uh, black is trying to hold, but still unpleasant situations. Maybe this is still uh, the best for black. Uh, 
general advices uh, are typical as usual just try to study uh, strong players game in this case I would uh, name some new players already coming new generation playing this lines with white very good of course it's Karyakin of course it's Caruana it's uh, Maxim Vashelia Graf so these uh, players are really uh, brought a lot of knowledge into this opening for white and uh, new ideas this for sure uh, some ladies uh, like Kosintseva they also well educated and they can show some good examples for white uh, how to play these positions uh, also uh, it's uh, new in uh, in chess bay format the first time I do like this I will give some samples to solve it's about just to uh, make some practical exercise to find some moves normally it's not something exceptional just move which uh, proves that you got uh, some knowledge already after viewing this DVD so it's better first you watch the DVD and then you uh, solve this uh, um, exercises which I will give you otherwise um, I think it's uh, a long-term strategical weapon for white it's uh, will not give a, get never all the disinformation which I give in this DVD because it's more about ideas strategical ideas it can be uh, very classical and can be used for many years so I wish you good luck against Karokan.